can protocol that is can protocol part 9 the standard can and the, uh, extended can so in this tutorial we are going to see about the straight cut and the clear definition and what the exact difference with between the standard can and extended can let's see the cans standard that is it defined the length of identifier in the arbitration field of 11 bits so first uh, when the can has been invented at the time the 11 bit uh, identifier of the arbitration field has been you know implemented and uh, used by all the vendors but later on the customer has demo and demanded the force and the extension of standard because the customer they don't they doesn't want to move to any other protocols because a scan is the economic you know the eco economic friendly and it is so reliable and it's not so complex and uh, it met a uh, more or it met the expectation of the customers so they have demanded to force an extension of the standard that is the new format is often called extended can that allows no less than 29 so it is a 29 bit identifier so to differentiate between the two frames the reserved bit is a in the control field was used so in the reserved bit the control field has been used so this is what the history that uh, how the extended can comes so uh, previously we have they have used only the 11 bits but uh, now they have started to use the 29 because the the number of data is transmitting the number of data has been accumulating is more than compared to the you know the past decade so that is around uh, 2005 uh, the year of 2005 that is from 1990s to 2005 it was they were using around uh, the 11 bits but uh, after that the 29 bits has been very common by all the vendors so 2a that is 11 bit identifier only then 2b it's an extended version with the full 29 bit identifier and this data it's a very you know it's it's a very uh, uh, you cannot find these data uh, in many platforms so this is a in extended b version we have a two data that is two set of uh, protocols one is uh, 2b and uh, 2b active and 2d uh, 2b passive so that is 2b active is a tra can transmit and receive extended frames whereas 2b passive will silently discard received extended frames so active is uh, normal that it, it will transmit and receive a message whereas 2b is silently ignore the message that whatever uh, the set of messages may not be required for the uh, transmission or not required by the node so that is what 2a and 2b so 2b has a two version that extended 2b that is a two version that is 2b passive and 2b active let's see 2a so this is a structure of 2a here we have start of frame then identifier then uh, we have a arbitration field and control field data field the crc field the acknowledgement slot then crc delimiter acknowledgement delimiter then end of the frame so let's see the significance of one by one so start of frame the start of frame will always be the dominant bit so because it may it will it will make the hard synchronization here so once it starts the arbitration field it will start to prioritize the message by using the identifier that is the low identifier will gets the highest priority whereas the high, uh, highest uh, identifier will get the lowest priority as can is the and uh, and logic that is the wired and logic so that the uh, the and logic uh, concept has been given in the previous uh, tutorials so make sure i hope you have uh, watched that then uh, it's a control field in the control field we have the control field the uh, the data has been accommodating followed with the data field so once this uh, this frame has been completed then crc it will check the uh, crc checksum i guess uh, checksum also given in the upcoming tutorial that how the checksum is calculated so the checksum field will uh, will evaluate whether the checksum data is correct or not if it is correct it will it will allow the data to uh, send the acknowledgement uh, bit if not then it will send the crc error so yes as i said if it is okay then it will send to the acknowledgement slot then the acknowledgement it will just uh, make the uh, bit to be low that is dominant uh, then it will send the acknowledgement uh, bit acknowledgement uh, bit it will send to the uh, master that is a transmitter then once it's sent then it will goes to the end of frame so before that if there is any crc problem then the crc delimiter will broadcast the crc error and once the acknowledgement has uh, happened successfully then acknowledgement delimiter can send the acknowledgement bit successfully so this is how the flow works whereas if you come to the extended frame the same way it starts with the startup frame 
after that it will comes to the identifier as here we have the 29 bit identifier it is a SRR and it start with SRR to IDE then the control field here we have again we have the RTR field will be there so even in this also RTR field is there that I missed to tell you then here in the same way the data field once the data has been successfully transmitted then uh, it will just check for the checksum once the checksum also cleared then it will uh, it will pass to the acknowledgement to broadcast the acknowledgement delimiter if there is any error then uh, acknowledgement uh, CRC delimiter will uh, will just send the broadcast the error in the same way the acknowledgement delimiter behaves then once the came uh, once the frame has been uh, done successfully then it will goes to the end of frame so this is how the can 2 that is extended can works the main difference between the can uh, 2 that is the standard can or extended can is the arbitration field whereas here we have 11 bit of identifier here we have a 29 bit of identifier so what is 11 bit what is 29 bit 2 to the power 11 is a 11 bit identifier 2 to the power 29 is a 29 bit identifier yes so the control is implementing 2b 2a or a compatible and may be used the same bus along the the controller implementing 2b reference sending the so for example in a in a car that uh, you want to use standard frame as well as extended frame is yes, you can go for it because both are compatible with each other there is no incompatible issue with that then so techie suggests the standard can is better than the extended can because there is more overhead in the extended can messages but in fact if you see the arbitration field for transmitting data then extended can may actually have a lower overhead than the standard can so here the over overhead is uh, talking about the traffic the bus traffic is happen so the techie suggested that the extended can creates a more bus traffic than the standard can but in in actual fact it will not happen as the can follows the uh, its own protocol so there won't be any bus traffic happens so that is how the can 2a and uh, can 2b has been ended up with the compatible already so here we have the basic can and the full can also the term basic can and full can originate from the see here this is some interesting fact that apart from the 2a that is standard and extended concept here we have the can of basic can as well as full can so what is basic can so both has been originate from the basic can originate from the intel and the full can has been originate from the philips right so originate from the intel controller which how did i'm type they came along with the philips is a fifo okay yeah once again okay so so first uh, we have the basic can and full can the both has been derived from the intel that is uh, up from the standard of 82526 there is a can controller which provide the dp ram style interface to the programmer then philips came into picture with the standard of 82c200 which is used as a fifo oriented programming that is um, the programming model which is limited to the filtering abilities so they there so here they have they don't have much filter but here they have filter as we are you know uh, nowadays we are using the can has a filter that you might have uh, seen in the in our first tutorial that is can hardware we have a local filtering so the filtering ability has been uh, implemented by the philips whereas the initial stage the the originator has been uh, done by the intel then the, to differ the two programming models intel way as a full can and philips way as a basic can that is the filtering has been enabled is a philips that is a full can and the basic can is the sorry the full uh, philips has been uh, made the made it as the uh, half can and uh, that is basic can then the full can has been uh, introduced by the intel in that way they have differentiated but as of course uh, both the intel as well as the philips the contributed more to uh, successive uh, the production of the can protocol so the full can controller can communicate with the basic can controller and the vice versa there is no compatibility problem so how the standard can and extended can the same way the full can and the um, basic can has it but uh, again just remember the intel as a full can that is uh, intel has originated the full can then uh, base uh, then basic can has been done by the philips with the standard that I have mentioned. So the main difference between the basic can and full can is the filtering ability. So that's it. So the upcoming tutorial is the can arbitration and priority. So how the can arbitration field works and how it prioritize. So we'll see in the upcoming tutorial. Until then, you just uh, go through all and uh, have a happy learnings.